the Reds visiting the Brewers on Tuesday night. Jose Peraza trying to help his team get off to a good start as we pick it up in the first inning with the man on. It's Peraza facing Chase Anderson. And that ball is clobbered into left center field by Peraza. Hit very well and it will fly out of here. Jose Peraza, his 13th home run of the year. And after two batters, two hits, and two runs, that's the way to get it started. The two-out batter will be the shortstop, Jonathan Scope. Here's a pitch. And a base hit into right. Shevler up with the ball, and they're going to be forced to hold the runner. And now he's coming to the plate, and he's going to score. Runner at first, two outs in a 2-1 game in favor of the Reds. 0-2 in the air, left center field. And that ball will fall, and that ball will go to the track. Come Cut on, off by the left fielder. Around. Here comes Brandon Dixon, waved around third. No throw to the plate, and the Reds have another run. It's 3-1 Cincinnati. But you're going to pitch to contact. Ball had a long way by Granderson. And what an over-the-shoulder catch made by Mason Williams. Billy Hamilton-esque out there by Williams. What a play. That ball was hit a ton. Four innings of shutout baseball. The bullpen is thrown. After a successful first start in three years for Michael Lorenzen. But still three outs to go. And a swing and a miss. And he struck him out. Changeup got him on a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts after a leadoff walk. One more out to go. See, Glacius trying to nail it down. And that he will do. He walks a leadoff man. Fans in X3. And the Reds get an incredibly well-pitched game here tonight. Rysel Iglesias' 28th save as the Reds defeat the Brewers 3-1. The Cincinnati bullpen works five scoreless innings. Despite the loss, the Brewers still have a two-game lead over the Cardinals for the top NL wildcard spot. And with his steal in the sixth inning, Christian Yelich becomes the third player in franchise history to record 20 or more steals and 30 or more homers in a single season. Travis Shaw had to exit the game for Milwaukee after being hit by a pitch on his knee. And Lorenzo Cain was taken out in the fifth inning for precautionary reasons about an intercostal injury.